Hi, Martin here. Today I got a really cool project. I'm pretty excited about this. I'm going through the junkyard and I was looking at one of the WK Jeep Grand Cherokees, your 05 through 2010s. And I'm looking at their rear lower control arm. One just like this one here. And thinking, wow, if that is the same length as the one that's in my Grand Cherokee, how I'd like to change that out. Well, it turns out it's a little too short. It's like three quarters of an inch too short. But still, I love the simpleness of this design. Basically a square tube with the two bushings. And I'm thinking, I can definitely make something happen with this. So, got to looking and I, on the internet and ballistic fabrication. They got some awful nice stuff. Uh, the best looking Johnny joints I've ever seen and the the poly joints, uh, the Himes joints, all that stuff, absolutely top notch. You got to check out their Facebook and their website. I will put a couple links to their sites right here and down below in the description. Check them out for sure. So I placed an order with them and uh, I got the poly joint. This is a three inch wide. It comes in two and a half and three inch. This particular one is a seven eighths diameter shaft on here and then I also got the 7 8 square tube adapter and uh, the jam nut of course and this is totally greasable all of this made in the US you know just absolutely top-notch stuff and uh, very friendly customer service and all of that please check them out and um, what I decided to do with these arms is like I say they were just uh, about three quarters of an inch longer or shorter, excuse me, shorter than the ones that were in my Grand Cherokee. I am gonna cut these off, weld this into place, and we're gonna have this custom arm that's adjustable, plus I'm gonna get rid of, you know, this bigger arm, and I'm losing horsepower is what's happening here. When you got this big rubber bushing here, and you give it the gas, Let's say you're at the track, you're losing some horsepower because of the, the horsepower is being absorbed in this bushing because there's movement in that axle, it's flexing. So you're not getting all the power to the ground. And I want to get rid of that. So by using the combination of this arm and this bushing right here from ballistic fabrication, you end up with this. And that looks great. Now it's totally adjustable. And if you're looking for an off-road vehicle, you can actually make a longer arm than your factory one with this. By cutting this off tight to the original bushing, you're going to end up with a nicer, a little bit longer of an arm. If you want. All right. Well, let's get going with this. I'm super excited about this. This is going to turn out so cool. So let's get started. All right, work is being performed on a 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now, the first thing you want to do is get the tires chalked in the front so the vehicle can't roll once we get these lower control arms removed. And then I'm going to raise it up at the axle. Suspension is already compressed and sitting at its natural state. And then I'll get the tires removed and we'll go from there. Okay, with the front tires chalked, the vehicle raised up and supported with jack stands, tires removed, ready to move on to the next step. Also want to let you know what kind of equipment I got in here right now. I got uh, Eibach uh, lowered springs in here. I got Grant Limit straps. These are 14 inch running uh, the Gabriel uh, shocks on here and I also have a one inch diameter ADCO sway bar for the rear. That really reduces the uh, body roll on this vehicle for sure. All right, I'm going to start by removing the bolts that hold on the uh, control arms. Uh, this is all 21 millimeter hardware.
That was easy. Now, when I first started looking into this project, you know, I, when I was at Pick Apart, I saw these arms on the WK uh, Jeep Grand Cherokees. And I'm thinking, wow, if these would just bolt right in place, you know? Well, unfortunately, they're about three quarters of an inch too short. But I was still intrigued by their design. And I thought I could really do something with these. And that's where I went with the ballistic fabrication products. Now, I had to find out how thick this was. You know, can I use the ballistic fabrications square tube adapter? Well, you know, I cut it apart. What this ends up being is right at 13 gauge steel. And their adapter fits in there really nice. Width-wise, it's perfect. Um, up and down, because this is not an actual square. It's a little bit of a rectangle there. It does fit in there a little loose on the top to bottom, but that's okay. This is going to work just fine. As you can see, I slid one here all together, and I mean, that looks great. You weld this up, and it's going to be awesome. Now, the one other thing that's really cool about these arms that come out of the JK, that's WK Martin. Now, the one end, this one right here, that looks more solid than the other. It fits perfectly into the WJ with no problem. This end here is a little too narrow to fit the other side, even if this arm was the correct length. You'd end up having to washer this side up. So this is the end you end up cutting off, the one that's got a couple little holes in it right there. So again, that's the end you cut off. Now another cool thing about the ballistic fabrication stuff. This here has a 9 16 inch hole. Now the bolt that comes in your WJ or WK is technically metric. No, not technically. It is metric. And it's a little bit smaller than 9 16 But the hole that's in the brackets in your on your rear axle and on the frame or on your unibody, your mounting points, that hole will fit a 916 bolt perfectly. So it actually takes a little slop out of it. I mean, this ends up making it a tighter application. You know, everything, that, uh, there's less movement. So I really like that. So it just ends up working out really well. So after cutting this off here, and from center to here, to this edge here is around 14 and 3 quarter inches. Now that lines up perfectly at how I got it adjusted right here. Now that gives me ample room to adjust inward and more than enough to go out. I'm going to go ahead and get this ready to weld up and then we'll get this one here cut off and do the same thing. Another thing you're going to want to do is a plug weld about halfway in between here, we're going to want to drill a hole through the diameter of this, clear through. And then when we place this in here and do the welding around here, we're also going to want to do plug weld the uh, holes that we drill through here, and that way that helps secure that. All right, uh, go ahead and remove any uh, paint or rust that's going to be even close to the weld. You want a good, solid, proper weld. So now you can just place that in there like that. You're going to weld around here and on these two plugs. Here are the installation instructions for the uh, square tube adapters. Please follow them. And if you're unable to read these, please check out the Ballistic Fabrication website.
right, that turned out real nice. Now one of the last things we gotta do is get this arm to the same length as the factory control arm was. Unless you're looking for a, a longer control arm, of course. Now I want mine to be the same length. So I got one bolt here run through the bottom side, coming through the bushing here. I'm gonna place this on here. And now I can just look through this hole and see how far off I am. Right now I'm off quite a bit. So I'll just screw that in a few turns until that lines up properly. Getting close. And what you can do is take another bolt there to get it lined up. Yeah, that's very close. Might try it one more turn. I think I had it right there. I think it was the best. Yep. There we go. Okay, so that's the length I'm looking for. Now I can bring my jam nut up. And there you have it. Man, that looks good. Now one thing I want to m mention is if you want to do this to your WK, you sure can. You'll have to uh, go with the 2.63 diameter joint if you like or you can use the two and a half as well um, so the two and a half would be in this poly design and the 2.63 would be the Johnny joint style and that may be what you prefer especially if you got an off-road type vehicle and if you're doing this for a d the WJ and you doing this for a off-road vehicle where you want maximum articulation you're probably going to want to go with the Johnny joint style bushing. Like I was saying before, I'm using 9 16 hardware. So I replaced all that. Right now I'm just going to get those bolts started and then we'll tighten them down. All right, now that I got the uh, rear one tightened down, I'm going to go ahead and tighten this one down. All right, now all I need to do is grease up that uh, poly joint, and uh, this side's done. I just got to repeat on the other side. Now, the one thing you don't want to forget is to tighten down the jam nut. I always do this afterwards. This way, there's the arm is fully tightened and can't twist while you're tightening the jam nut. I'm really liking the way this arm turned out in here, and now it's fully adjustable and everything. I love it. I'm gonna get the uh, tire put back on this, get this lowered down, take it out for a drive. we take it out for a little drive and see what this thing can do. Now I gotta say, that was probably one of the easiest mods I've done in a while. Uh, simply getting the two JK arms and then 
purchasing the stuff from Ballistic Fabrication, which their stuff is second to none. All that stuff worked out absolutely perfect. Thanks, Ballistic, for all your stuff there. And uh, man, I, I just can't believe how easy that went. In fact, I am already planning on to do this to the front end as well. So please stick around for those videos coming up. And if you haven't subscribed to me before, please hit that subscribe button right down there and that little bell symbol right next to it. And that way you get notifications when those videos come out. And uh, check out Ballistics Fabrications websites. I will put links here above and down in the description below. Check out their Facebook too. And it really shows off all the stuff that they build right in house. It's very impressive. You got to check that out. And I'm also an Amazon affiliate. Please check the links down below where you can purchase the products or tools that were in the video. And you can do all your shopping right through one of those links. Even if you don't purchase none of the items that is in the description, it doesn't matter. And that way the channel earns a small commission. I really appreciate that. Thanks again for watching and we will see you on the next one.